good morning everyone I just like to read my statement that I gave you gave to you all yesterday um, I'm deeply humbled by my colleagues continued trust in my leadership of the Senate I always say that I serve at the pleasure of my colleagues and with their strong show of support I'm emboldened to press on as Senate president I thank my fellow senators, everyone who's already signed the statement of support, as well as those of signified intent to sign it as well. Ang support ng nilang lahat ay marka ng isang matatag na senado, hindi natitinag, natitinag ng anumang ingay at palaging nakakaisa sa mi paglilingkod para sa bayan. So um, that's my opening statement. I want to thank all those that signed the. Uh, statement of support, and uh, there are more that signed. Nadagdagan po additional three uh, members, uh, senators, and I think I'd like to thank Senator Bong Revilla, uh, Senator um, Robin Utbadilla, and Senator Jingo Estrada also uh, signed together with the original 14 that has signed. Marami yatang hindi naman ako na paikot niyan, yung paikot niyan mga kasama natin. Uh, yung iba kasi wala, they were abroad. I believe uh, Cheese is out of that country. And over the weekend, Senator Pia, Senator uh, Pia Caetano, Senator Alan Caetano were also out of the country. So we, we expect uh, more, more to join uh, uh, for their support to our presidency. But what's important is, um, with all these rumors taking place, uh, hindi po natin pinapansin yung ingay na yan. Tuloy-tuloy pong trabaho natin napapansin nyo. Araw-araw, we're taking up uh, LEDAC uh, approved measures. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we passed yesterday the RP VARA, the Real Property uh, Valuation uh, uh, Law, uh, updating the Real Property Valuation Systems of our government, of our country. So, naipasa natin yung kahapon. And most recently, we passed last week uh, another LEDAC measure escapes me at this point in time. Hindi pa ako nagkakape. Ah, PNTV Org. PNTV Org, napasa natin. So every week, nagpapasa po tayo ng LEDAC measures. Hopefully, in the next two weeks, may papalabas po tayo uh, yung uh, FASA, yung sa anti-fishing, uh, anti-mule, yung mga anti-scamming. Uh, fraudulent transactions done on online by our phones, by by online transactions, we'll be passing that. That's also a LEDAC measure. Before the end of the uh, month, and before the break, pasado na po yan. So we're soldiering on, on our commitments to the LEDAC uh, measures. At the same time, uh, we continue our work on the different committees, particularly on other measures that we feel we feel is very important for the Filipino people. So tuloy na po. Tuloy na po ang trabaho. Nakapasa rin po tayong amnesty bills. Pinasa na po natin yung amnesty on MILF, uh, M MNLF, as well as the uh, um, yung proletariat, the uh, RPB. Uh, Alex Bongayo, ABB, Alex Bongayo Brigade uh, and uh, and their group and organization. Na iwan na lang yung sa New People's Army will be taking that up in the next couple of days. Before the break, mapapasa na rin po natin yan. Um, so. Kasi hindi naman ako, na, not personally, I'm not the one moving around with the document. Maybe I can ask those who are, who are uh, moving the document to, to see them. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, I spoke to Ma'am Cynthia yesterday and Ma'am Aimee, they also gave their support. Uh, and ang gusto po nila, walang gulo. Alam mo, maraming challenges po ang, uh, ang hinaharap ng Senado, ng politika na yon, ng taong bayan, lalo na yung mga kababayan nating hirap at gutom sa buhay, uh, dapat magpakita po tayo ng solid uh, uh, show of support to the institution. Not just to me, it's to the institution Sir, na hindi tayo you nagkakagulo. Can you clarify lang? Yes. Si galing sa inyo, si statement of support, uh, kanino po galing and why is there a need for that, sir? Kasi lang sinasabi, uh, chismis lang yun. Pero bakit kailangan sir, may statement of support? Well, um, maraming haka-haka, chismis na uh, papalitan daw ako, ikukuditaw daw ako online, uh, on mga social media sites. And I think uh, my colleagues, uh, particularly my uh, core group, like for example, uh, Senator Joel, Senator JV, um, Senator Angara, Senator Nancy, Senator uh, 
Paul uh, Senator Lauren, we all met uh, one day, said, uh, they all met one day, sabi nila, actually nasa Cagendi Oro ako noon eh, I was not here, I was in Cagendi Oro. Nagpaikot sila ng, ng uh, uh, manifesto of support, so nagpapasalamat po ako sa kanila. And uh, because of that, uh, many more senators, uh, of course, wanted to show signs of support para matigil na po yung usapin na kudita. So we can focus on the issue at hand, which is how to pass legislation that will help uh, uplift the lives of Filipino people or Filipino people. Hindi eh, kasi puro haka-haka lang para mata matigil na yung haka-haka at uh, usapin na yan, yung mga rumors na yan, ay ginawa na po nitong manifesto support. So, I think um, uh, that's very clear and I don't really want to add fuel to the fire anymore. As far as we're concerned, that's all water, rough waters under the bridge. Let's move forward and uh, start working together. Marami pa tayong trabaho. This is the last two weeks of work. Meron pa tayong three weeks. This week, oh sorry, two weeks na lang. So, so, kailangan talaga mag-double time po kami para may papasa po dati third reading itong mga bills. Yes. Wala, wala naman po matatanggal na mag-wait. Well, no one's, no, there's no reason to. There's no reason. Huh? No, no, no one, no, no, there's no revamp for any committees. There's no such thing. I mean, talagang outside pressure from uh, well, pressure from outside. Uh, it may be it may be because of charter change. It may be because of of uh, uh, I don't know. Um, I can't speculate. I don't want to speculate. I don't want to make a guess. Uh, but that's par for the course. Yan po ay kasama sa trabaho natin. Naalala ko ng majority floor leader ako ni Senate President Soto. Ganun din ang intriga sa kanya. Minubugbog din siya. Ako yung taga, ano niya, taga console, taga, ano din, taga um, uh, pacify dito sa Senate floor. Uh, ngayon, ako naman yun na sa hot seat kasi ako naman yung Senate President. So, medyo mabigat na trabaho ito. Pero it comes with the territory. It's part of the job. Uh, and, um, What's important is we don't lose the sight and focus of helping our, our people uh, get better lives. Yun lang po, gumandang buhay nila. Hindi naman, uh, I always say, uh, di ba sinasabi ko palagi, I serve at the pleasure of my colleagues. Kung hindi naman po ako effective uh, bilang leader, then uh, I, I'm ready to step down as long as uh, uh, their, their, the numbers show that I'm no longer effective as a leader. But yun nga eh, mga, yung mga kasama natin, nagulat sila at sabi nila, uh, wala naman masamang ginag ginagawa si Senator Zubini. As a matter, matter of fact, I'm probably the most amiable uh, uh, Senate President. I'm also uh, the most consensus-building uh, among possibly previous Senate Presidents talaga. Ako, I'd like to get the consensus as well as support of each and every one of my colleagues before we react on a, a certain issue. I think I've been very um, transparent and uh, even in these last few days, uh, sabi ko nga, open po ako, pati yung mga, yung mga uh, institutional amendments sa budget, sabi ko, labas natin institutional amendments, like for example, yung tutulong natin sa Coast Guard, sa military, para makita nila na wala po tayong, hindi po natin iniisahan ng mga senador. That's the least of my, my uh, uh, not concerns, but it's, it's for me, what is important is reputation. Um, gusto ko, by the end of the 19th Congress, by the end of my term, sabihin ng ating mga kasamahan na effective at, at uh, maganda naman ang patakbo ng ating Senate President in this 19th Congress. Okay. Of course, the 20th Congress is a different uh, ball game altogether kasi may bagong mga players na papasok doon, 12 new players, and uh, of course, there will still be an election of a new Senate President on the 20th Congress. What's important is the 19th Congress uh, let us continue soldiering on. Pasan natin yung mga letak measures. Uh, continue the discussions on RBH6, which is being done now by Senator Gara. And then we'll transition to the 20th Congress. I think that's the most important. Oh, I'm, I'm, 
naman na uuwi niyan, my dear. Maybe you can ask the court. Yeah. I was requested by the I was requested by the group to sign na rin para to show kasi miss kung kasama ako 14 yun eh. Kung hindi ako sumama diyan baka sabihin only 13 ang ang support ni Santos Bill. So total number yan is 14. So there are 14 uh, uh, senators. Uh, yes, uh, it will be 17. Are you aware if there uh, some of your colleagues who are dissatisfied with your leadership kasi may mga nakausap ko kami uh, senador. They were saying na meron talaga ng attempt to unseat you for the we do, I don't want to discuss that anymore. I don't want to dwell, dwell in that. I don't want to comment on that. Because uh, we in address the man, in address concerns nila. and I think that's the most important. Uh, these concerns. We're actually having several caucuses. Ano pa pag, pag bibigay, Ano pa pwede natin ibigay in terms of uh, uh, services sa ating mga senators? Uh, and of course, kailangan siguro. Uh, Continuous consultation with the senator. So, wala naman, I don't see any problem, and and as seen by the manifesto, they're happy naman with my leadership. Maybe so, sir, any concerns? Uh, I guess maybe, dahil nga sa stress natin in the last few months about um, yung charter change, yung EI, uh, yung People's Initiative, siguro sa stress po natin, hindi po natin sila nakakausap kagad sa mga concerns nila. Dahil nga, uh, medyo uh, at that time our, our institution was under threat. But uh, so sabi ko, we'll be doing more consultations. Every week we'll be doing uh, caucuses para kung may mga concerns sila, ma-action na natin kagano. Wala naman tayong nakikita.